It was a reaver drop. Anyway. <laughs> at the bottom right. Playing for Team Meralt, it is of course Silt Strider as the green Protoss. And at the uh, top right, we have the blue Zerg player from Clan CTO. I have no idea what that stands for. Uh, we have ZZZ, which makes me think he's actually sleeping while playing. Or he's laughing. Or he's laughing. Yeah. Or maybe he's doing both. Maybe he's really good at sleeping and laughing. <laughs> Do Z even... represent laughter? Um. Yeah, well, I can't Sometimes. type it on this computer, but never mind. <laughs> you and your computer. Finn's always, got lucky. Finn's always jumping around from computer to computer. Ah, uh, okay. Gotcha. Overward stops. Oh. I was going the right direction, then it decided to want to take a nice scenic view, so. Yeah, I don't know. well, you know. It's alright. Sometimes you get Very tired. Good. You gotta pull over for a nap because there's ZZZ. That's, that's true. That's all right. We do have pool first here from ZZZ. Um, so Strider, though, is going to scout in the correct direction, so I'd expect him to get his cannon up in time, no problem. Um, not going to wind up probably going for that Nexus first once he sees that pool finish up. Although he is uh, saving the money right now. He's going to head up oh. there. Oh! Probe gets around it, but he still should have seen the pool, no problem. Yep, and there comes the cannon. First blood, vicious drones. First blood. It doesn't quite sound like that. That was a lot more nope. burpy sounding. Yeah. First blood. There I it is. Know. That sounds better. Oh, double cannon actually. From Silk Strider. Um. I want him to make no zerglings now. And get that yeah. And me too. He is only making two and expanding. So. Yeah. No, I like that. <laughs> that is nice. Mind Silk Strider maybe uh maybe overreacting here with that uh, second cannon. And yeah, he's he's scared, man. He's scared. <laughs> All right, sees the hatchery. That's a pretty big investment too. Yeah, 150. I mean, that really sets you behind it, especially at this point of the game. I mean, it's gonna be, you know, the nexus is gonna be later, the gateway therefore is gonna be later, the tech's gonna be later. Everything is gonna slow down here a little bit. You can afford to make extra buildings and uh, you know not not follow pl builds perfectly later on in the game, but the early early stages that 150 minerals is a big deal and a quick is. third from ZZZ actually and is actually expanding towards his opponent uh, not sure how much I like that <laughs> I think this might have been a better better position for his hatchery up here at the uh, 12 o'clock base I guess we'll call it I think if he goes for either some sort of hydro bust or some kind of contain I think this works really well for him actually because he'll have that quicker reinforcement oh that's true if he is gonna get really aggressive it might work better too, because, like you said, Silstratus tech is behind. Yeah. We do have a lair on the way really fast for ZZZ. Uh, we have some so we'll... chilling out on the front. Uh, gonna see if anything surprising happens, which, seeing how the gate was coming up now, probably not. Yep, we do see another gas coming up here, so could be could be mute to play here for ZZZ. Well, the the second gas and the lack of a hydrogen definitely says to me, uh, mutas. Yeah. Although the second gas could have been a little sooner, but yeah. I'm not here to criticize players, they're better than me. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. We have a probe sitting out in the middle-ish area, probably gonna move in and uh, scout for any tech in like a minute or two. Try to see what's coming up. Cyberpunk so, just completed. Yep. So, uh, Soul Strider needs to get uh, Stargate or a Twilight Council down here relatively soon. Gotta have that tech in order to fight against those mutas. That is what we're gonna see, which is what I expect. Just, and there's yep. a Stargate. There. And there's and a Stargate. Fire. <laughs> At the same time. So, what this means though, now the Stargate will finish first, but I mean, Soul Strider is probably only gonna have maybe two Corsairs by the time mutas hit. So he's got to uh, try to fight over his cannons. He's only going to have his cannons at, a, at the front here. Uh, probably not going to have any in his mineral lines by the time those those do finish up, though. I like this, though. Still Strider getting out here with a couple of Zealots. Um, going to try to make his opponent you know, produce more Zerlings than he wants to. Spend some Larva. So we do see uh, quite a few Zerlings coming out now. So that's a nice little move. Anything you can do to <laughs> limit the number of Mutas that will be on the field uh, is good. So... 
Yeah, and um, and ha 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 did use uh, <laughs> did use nurturing swarm on his spire, so uh, it'll be a, a little bit sooner than we had initially uh, anticipated. Yeah, and we see actually, uh, Silcerter has not gotten his Kader and Citadels at either of his bases, so he's not gonna have doesn't have Chrono Boost, cannot Chrono Boost out his uh, Corsairs. So I'm not sure if that was uh, something he just forgot or uh, didn't get his natural gas fast enough. Uh, but there's only going to be um, a couple Corsairs out, but there's only only a couple Mutalists on the way right now as well. So ZZZ actually getting supply blocked. Oh, that's a pretty bad supply block. Starting three Overlords. Yeah, that was actually a really bad supply block. I think he was already supply blocked, and then the Corsair further supply blocked him, actually. So and, and yeah, just, and, just two Mutalists. We have the Citadels fi finishing up, so he's probably going to Chrono Boost a lot of Corsairs out. Yep. Yeah, he wants to be Teddy Bear. Ashbury seems to be a stuffed animal, which I can't blame. Stuffed animals are cute. Mm -hmm. That is true. I actually watched the movie Ted the other day. I've actually it... never seen that. Is that really? Movie? It's actually pretty good. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I thought it was really good. Yeah, yeah. I actually haven't seen either. We do have a zealots come up here. Oh, they're going to intercept a drone on its way to build a hatchery. That's really nice. Oh, Soul Strider actually pulls him back though. That's um, a pulling back. Oh, oh, fighting with the cannon. The uh -oh. Mute multiple Corsairs the, out. The Corsairs. Enough, doing enough damage here. That's We've a Gotta be careful though. Need to fight. Want to fight over the cannon if at all possible. Trying to boost the cannon. Uh, yeah. Nope. Okay, not gonna boost it. Uh, oh, more Corsairs. cannons. Getting in cannon range again though. He needs Corsairs have got to be careful. And, uh oh. Oh. Second Corsair almost goes down. Okay, there is a third one now joining them, but he's losing so many probes right now. How many probes have gone down so far? 12, 13, 14. Uh, can't just sit here idly and watch these probes die. Gotta pull them or something. Mutas are a little too pumped. But... Yeah, Mutas are very stacked up right now. I really need oh, and there's a fourth Corsair out now. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, the Corsairs. damaged Corsairs do get taken down, and now there's nothing to contend with these, these Mutalisks. Big flock of mutas here. Zealots are taking down the third hatchery though, which is nice, but there's just not going to be enough here to fight. Uh, one can here, not going to get Chrono boosted. We have, we have another cannon right next to the Nexus, so mutas are stuck on this side of the mineral line, but still a lot of damage being done. Nice little pullback there from Silk Strider, pulling those mutas into into the cannon, but uh, these probes continue to die, and now there are. Oh, there's mutas actually rallying over some cannons, taking unnecessary damage, but there's so many mutalists here. Keep in mind, third did go down. Yeah, and the Zealots are on their way to the Nashville too, and ZZZ is not responding to those Zealots either. At this point, yep. there's only 10 probes left here for a Protoss player, and there's still a lot of Mutas on the field. And how many Corsairs do we have? Uh, there's three of them right now. Oh, this, the Stargate's getting sniped. I think it's going to get sniped. I don't know, that might oh, be Oh, it. but they're... Oh, no! The Mutas are focus firing the Stargate, and the Corsairs are picking them all oh. off! Oh, oh so much oh. damage! There's almost no Corsairs. Oh. There's no... Oh. Oh. There's four mutas <laughs> left, all but very low on damage, very and low on the health. Oh, he goes down. Down. These two Corsairs should be able to pick off the rest of these mutas, though. Uh, but the Zerlings do clean up the Zealots that were threatening the natural. And now, Silt Strider, 11 probes, <laughs> ZZZ, 24 drones. These players have got to start uh, pumping out the workers as much as possible. Oh my goodness. That wow, that's insane. crazy. There are six mutas, and they'll be able to poke and prod at random locations. Because the yep. Stargate is not coming up at all. We only have two Corsairs, the things that can shoot up. Yep. Oh, this can's going to be taken down again. And with only these two Corsairs here, there are plenty of Mutas with a lot of health here. There's the spread, okay. It wasn't the greatest spread in the world, but takes down the Corsairs, and there's more probes going down. And... Delta moving out for a counterattack, but I'm not sure if that's enough. 65 to 24 supply. Yep, 47. Oh, Zelts on killed this command. Game. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> no, Zelts, no. You're doing it wrong. Yep. Get around, but it's a little too late, and there's the GG. ZZZ takes the game for Team Franskar. Ah, takes it. Yeah. What Team Franskar?